how to add or subtract fractions with different denominators. To watch this video, you have to know how to find the least common denominator. So if you don't know how to do that, you have to review it and you can click on this red button. It'll take you to another video where I explain how to find the least common denominator. Fractions are made of two parts, the top number and the bottom number. In mathematics, we call this the numerator and denominator. And when can you add or subtract fractions? Only when they have a common denominator. So let's look at a problem. Here it says add 7 twelfths plus 2 fifths. So write down the problem. I have to find the least common multiples of the denominators 12 and 5. So the LCM of 12 and 5 is 60. To change the 12 into a 60, I know I got to multiply it by 5, and I do the same to my numerator. To change my 5 into a 60, I multiply by 12, and I do the same to the numerator again. Next step, I can simplify. 5 times 7, I get 35 over 60 plus 2 times 12, which is 24 over 60. I can see I have the same denominator now, and I can combine my numerators. So 35 plus 24 all over 60, and my last step is to combine these two, and I get 59 over 60. So that's how you add two fractions with different denominators. Let's look at another example. Here it says to subtract 1 half minus 2 fifths. So I'm going to write down the problem 1 half minus 2 fifths, and I have to find the LCM of my denominators. So the LCM of 2 and 5 is 10. So I have to change my 2 into a 10, so I multiply this by 5, this one by 5, multiply this 5 by 2, and this one by 2 as well. And now when I simplify, 5 times 1 would be 5 over 10 minus 2 times 2, which would be 4 over 10. Since I have the same denominators, I can subtract my numerators. So I would have 5 minus 4 over 10. And when I simplify this, I get 1 over 10. So that's how you subtract two fractions with different denominators. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.